The distant event is subsumed by the illusory nature of its total representation. It can no longer be distinguished from its own virtual reenactment. Such a distinction is now meaningless. A web of electronic extensions spans across the skies to form the event horizon of human perception. The instantaneity of communication and the reduction of all distance portrays the very ideal behind the exploration of space. Space implodes on itself, a confluence of interconnectable nodes substitute the gravitational pull of the vanishing point. Perspective continues a dubious existence, only by means of its ersatz reproduction on the screen. We cannot tell you how much money you will get, we cannot tell you when it will be, we cannot tell you when you're going to start building, we cannot tell you how we can help you, we cannot tell you what, the ex what we exactly want from you. Okay. It was just like this, and then once we had to produce it, when, I mean, we were one of the few people that were left over in this whole selection process, mm -hmm. and, blah, blah. And, then, uh, and then they were just completely rude to us and shouting and being weird. And this woman was just completely overworked also. And everybody agreed afterwards, everybody was like, yeah, but she's crazy. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was the reason for us. To, you know. And what did they think about uh, their service? They also, I have the feeling they also don't really have this opinion about it. It's just, no they, it's just a leftover from the 70s and it's a way they, they sort of, it's a way their whole, because they're an artist, uh, like, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they, they tend to buy things from people that are in their Verein also. Mm -hmm. So it's like sort of a way to get, give people privileges. Mm -hmm. And it's also, I mean, of course it was founded for ideological reasons and they still, it must be there somewhere because they have to put money in it to maintain it. Of course. And la la la. So, uh, and money to buy things and everything.
to live in Holland, the most uh, non-beautiful, <laughs> non-agricultural oriented place in the world, <laughs> or am I wrong? Mm, no. Mine is not really choice. Okay, yeah. okay. It's not choice. Okay. I can't say it is choice. Because, uh, at the moment, I don't know if you need, you need a lot of time to study the, the system in Country, in my country, in my country, there's things to do with nepotism, tribalism, you know. So, like the north, you know, because they have been hostile to this regime, you find even the facilities, infrastructure, it is schools. Uh, the government say decided, you know, in uh, I. It doesn't happen here in the Netherlands, but in Africa it is there. If you don't support a particular government, then that area is kind of deprived of, you know, mm -hmm. of resources, okay? The country's resources. So you find now, like in northern Uganda, there are no jobs to start with. Okay, maybe now a few, a few NGOs have gone in and, yeah. Yeah, no, it's very clear that I totally understand what you mean. Yeah. It's like an NGO paradise, but there's not yeah. actually much else, yeah. else happening. So, there are no jobs. That are in development wise, we are lacking. If you look at the education, I was surprised in the year 2006, only one child graduated with the, with, in the first division in the senior. 